the holidays are basically here again. Black Friday sales are going to be starting holiday sales. And especially when it comes to investing in yourself, let's talk about how to make decisions, educated decisions, not emotional, irrational ones. Because when you can make educated decisions and confident decisions here like this, you're not going to have as much regret. All right, so let's get to it. Welcome back to the Your Money, Your Life podcast. I'm your host, Amy Serka. Today, we are talking about how to make informed decisions with your investments, specifically when it comes to investing in yourself. And like I said, you know, the holidays are here upon us. This is applicable all the time. But I felt like I needed to talk about this, especially as we start to either launch our own Black Friday sales or like as a consumer, we're going to get pitched a lot of things right now. Okay. And I want you to be able to have that peace and the confidence that you need in your day-to-day business and not end up with a bunch of regret because you purchased something that you didn't really need, but it was like an emotional buy because of all those things. And Using these principles, there, I'm not going to name names, but there was two programs that I can think of specifically off the top of my head. Like the copy was phenomenal. The copy hooked me, right? Like I was like, yes, like I need this, right? Because of the copy. But then when I was able to utilize these, let's see, four different principles that I'm going to talk about in just a minute, I was able to make the decision. It was like, no, actually, I don't need this. I have all the tools that I need. And one of the biggest, uh, there was a lot that I learned from this particular coach, but one of my former coaches, uh, Steve Kriv, we'll shout him out. Um, one of the things that I learned from him that probably has made the biggest difference is a concept. I don't remember if it's his concept or not, but he calls it enough, not enough. And what that means is we show up with this lens of either we don't have enough or I'm not enough. And then it's like, okay, I need to go do things so that I can be enough. And if you remove that, that lens, that frustration, that it's all of the emotions, like look at things factually, like it actually is, then you're going to be able to see without like that emotional enough, not enough that he shows us. Okay. But employing these four principles that we're going to talk about in just a second, that was how I was able to make those decisions and rationally see like, okay, no, I have the materials that I need. I already have enough. I don't need this program. It's not actually a fit for me, which then again, saves you regret. And even if you make purchases that you probably shouldn't have or didn't need, there are ways that we work on reframing that because I don't think that you need to live in a space of regret. And if you are feeling regret around those purchases, like you'll actually create like negative money associations there. So maybe it's not a space of regret. Maybe it's a space of a decision that you didn't really want to make because there's benefits that come from every decision. And that's actually one of the things that we do inside the academy or if I'm working with you in any type of coaching capacity. If you have a decision that you regret, then we have to work on reframing that because as long as you're in that regret mentality, you can't move forward you can't see the gratitude and the grace and you're still like, there's holding on, there's attachments that you've created, all type of things, like even mentally, uh, emotionally that are there. So we're not worried about the regret, but this will help you make those informed decisions. So then we don't even have to have the conversation about like decisions you might regret. All right. So the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to look at what's the benefit. Okay. Is this a skill that you don't have? Is this a skill that you want to have? Is this even appealing? Um, We can do it on another story. There was a coach, my first ever coach that I was working with. And she was successful with her type of marketing that she was doing. But it did not fit with my personality at all. Like I hated it. I was basically in tears, like going into these coaching calls because it felt so inauthentic and hard, but I had done these things and like, you know, she was successful, right? So this was the benefit. She was going to teach me this, but it's not a benefit I actually wanted. So 
that's great for them, but then it's not for me. Okay. So looking at those tangibles, like what is this actually teaching? A lot of times in our copy and our sales pages and all these things, we're talking about like the transformation and where we're going to be. And that is phenomenal. I want you to like think that, but like, what's the, what's the vehicle? Like, how are you going to get there? So is this something that's going to give you the step-by-step that you need? Is this something, the next part, we'll get to that here. The second thing that I want you to consider is the support level. So is this support level something that you actually need? A good level of support for you. Maybe you're somebody who doesn't do well of courses because they sit on the um, hypothetical digital course shelf and you don't ever actually use it. I can tell you by experience, like I reach out to people after you've been inside one of my courses for three months and a lot of them haven't ever logged in. Like that's hard. So maybe a course by itself, if you're one of those people that needs that extra accountability, isn't a great idea. But maybe they're offering extra accountability. If it's group support, is it a massive group where you're not going to get seen? Maybe that won't work for you. Maybe it's a smaller group. Maybe you need the one-to-one support. Those are the things that we need to consider, okay? Is the support level something that's going to work for you? The third thing I want you to do is give it 24 hours. Yes, there's so many fast action bonuses that you might miss out on if you don't wait those 24 hours. But when you give it 24 hours to sit and look at things objectively, you don't buy out of the irrational emotional decision, which is why all of my promotions always last longer than 24 hours because I'm not going to force you to do something against what I teach. Like, okay, that doesn't make any sense, right? Give it at least 24 hours. The only only exception to this is if you've decided now, if you've decided ahead of time, like, okay, this is something that I want. And then it goes on sale. Then you can purchase it. Okay. Because then it's not an emotional decision. You've already decided this is something that you've wanted. You're just acting on it. Got it. That's the third thing. And the fourth thing kind of, we've talked about this, like with the benefits, with the type of support, but This is like, we have to, I don't know, put it on a bow. This has to align in your values and the type of business that you wanted to have. So the coach that I was working with that did that specific strategy that worked really great for her, but totally not my personality, that didn't work well. And it ended up, it was through a company. We got it all fixed, situated because I spoke up and said something like, this is not what I was looking for. And because it was done through a company, we were able to get that fixed and situated. But I don't want you to have that experience afterwards. So if you are not somebody that wants to be doing, let's say, TikTok or any of those things or dancing on reels, which, you know, like I enjoy that stuff. This isn't like bashing any of it, but you have to know what you're comfortable with and what you're going to do and the type of business that you want to have. So those people that pitched me on LinkedIn, they were like, hey, do you want... Uh, 20 new calls every month. Like, heck no, I don't have time for that. I don't do appointment call setting or those things. And really like one-to-one clients, they only get a very limited amount of like Zoom call time like this because the times that I have for Zoom is limited. But also I find it works better when we do like life coaching. This is why we use Voxer. So in the moment when things happen like this, okay, so like if a client was like, hey, I saw this deal. I really want it. We could talk through these steps together via Voxer instead of waiting for the next Zoom call. Do you see how you have to have had that confidence in the type of business, the type of life that you want to have and the values that are in things that are important to you? Okay. We made it. Now you can make informed decisions with your money whether it's Black Friday or in different type of sale, let's uh, quickly recap the four things that I want you to make sure you're doing, looking at, writing down would be awesome. What's the benefit? What are the benefit, like tangible benefit that you're going to get from this program? Whatever it might be that you're looking at purchasing. This could be like a done for you service. This could be a uh, course, like where they're teaching step-by-step. Doesn't matter. Okay. What's the benefit? The second thing is the support level matching what you actually need. The third thing was waiting 24 hours not to make that irrational decision. And the fourth thing was making sure it was aligned with your values and the type of business that you want to have. So if you're watching on YouTube, drop me a comment below and let me know which one of these was 
the one that stood out to you the most. And then, of course, if you're listening on the podcast, shoot me a message on Instagram. I want to know which one of these four was the like, yes, that is what I need to remember. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you so much for listening to the Your Money, Your Life podcast. Wondering what's next? When you're ready, there are different levels of support that you can use on the path to creating unstoppable finances and your unstoppable life. After all, your finances are unique and your support should be too. Ultimately, we'll create a customized plan to ditch financial struggle for good that works for you, your goals, your priorities, your life. Go to workwithamy.com to get started with one of our most popular programs, or you can book a Q&A call with me and we'll figure out what your next step should be.